Okay, so here's another Play It One video, and this time we're going to be talking about how you export audio out of the system. Uh, no doubt you've been importing audio for a little while now, and you've got everything in place, everything is there, but you might have one or two things over time where you need to get the audio back out of the system again. And we've tried to make this as straightforward, as simple as possible. So, for example, uh, you might see here on my uh, left-hand side of the panel in my media finder, I've got all of my commercials, all of my spots they're here. And this one for Smith's Timber Merchants has been on the air for a little while. I've been a bit naughty and I've lost the original piece of audio that was sent to me from the production house. I need that back out again. So what do we do? I'll show you. We right click on that Smith's Timber Merchants uh, item there. We're going to go to export audio and data by uh, uh, using this right hand panel. When you get this little box up here, it's going to ask you where you want to send that audio to. I'm going to keep it very straightforward, and I'm going to ask it to just place it onto my desktop. That'll be fine. Thank you very much. And the final thing I want to do with this is I just want to export the audio. I don't want anything else. I don't want the metadata uh, directly from the system. I just literally want the audio so I can send it to the advertiser. When this is all done, I hit my Do Export button, and there it is. It is done. Just to prove it, I can go to my desktop here and I'll show you that I now have a uh, well standalone audio item, Smith Timber Merchants, ready to email over to the client.